right, my video is starting. <coughs> you are now live. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Hello out there. Yes, and Merry Christmas. In Facebook land. Indeed. Welcome to our pre-show festivities. No comments yet. I think my mic needs to come a little closer. Okay. There we are. That's better. I think too close. Well, there. That should do it. Do put on some pics. I don't know if anybody will have the time this busy Christmas Eve afternoon to join us, but... We have possibly got one person. I don't know how that works exactly. Well, if Amber's sharing, Three she's viewing. Oh, yes. goodness. Very good, very good. We are here, and I believe it is now 1 o'clock, sir. Is it already? Well, 12.59 on this and one on there, so right in between. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think you could see that. I you... can this sometimes I can. Sometimes you can. Sometimes I can. It's a mystery. And this is one of the one of the things <laughs> when I can. All right. Well, we're just counting down the last minute here. And um, at least so far, we've had no technical difficulties. I know. Unless somebody comes along and says we're frozen or they can't uh -oh. hear us or something. <laughs> I had to knock on wood. Yes. It is one, 1 p.m. All right. Daryl Seltz. Hel hello, Merry Christmas. You're a bit blurry. Hello, Daryl. Oh. oh, dear. Thank you for letting us know that. I don't know how that happened. Um, well, the music is really what's important. Well, it's, yes. Deborah Lynn Brace McKinney. Hello, Debbie. Hi, George and Lynn. Welcome. Are we blurry to you, too? How do we look to you, Debbie? Welcome, Daryl. Yes. And Deborah says, Merry Christmas. Debbie does. Sorry about yes. that. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Debbie. And she says, yes. Meaning, yes, we look... Yes, we look blurry. Hmm. Well, I wonder why, because it doesn't look that way to us. Well, well there's nothing we can do about it now. We're Just sorry. Just a bit blurry. Oh, okay. We're sorry about that. Um, must imagine much snow, maybe. Yes, think of we're, it that way. We're in the snow. <laughs> we aren't here in Alabama. We had a little bit We though. wish you a Merry Christmas from frigid North Alabama. Yes. Where the temperature is in the teens or very high teens <laughs> today, which is a, a warm-up from yesterday. And uh, we're watching... Uh, all the people down here try to cope with this cold weather that, that we're really not used to. Uh, but anyway, I really appreciate your taking a few minutes out of your busy Christmas Eve afternoon to listen yes. to us today. This one's called Christmas Eve Comedy. Um, the oh, Deborah says our uh, temps are three wind chill minus 28. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, goodness. That's cold. That's cold. I didn't uh, mean to interrupt you. Uh, you. Yeah, I've lost. Anyway, um, we're talking about what show. We yeah, this is uh, this is called Christmas Eve comedy, and like the twelve days of Christmas, this is twelve songs of Christmas. <laughs> we're only going to be on for uh, an hour today. We don't want to take too much of your time out of your busy Christmas Eve and Christmas preparations. Oh yes. So let's uh, get right into it here. Uh-oh, let's not get right into it, because I have forgotten a very important step. Uh-oh. I forgot to put in oh, my earbud. Earbuds. Minus three degrees is very cold. 
Yes, indeed. All right, here is a song that was written and recorded by Bill Ingvall. He was part of that working man's comedy team, Bill Ingvall, Jeff Foxworthy, Ron White, and Larry the Cable Guy. Yes. Uh, he was the here's your sign guy. <laughs> and he wondered, he got to thinking about Christmas and everything, and he wondered what would happen if you really made Santa mad. You know, what would Santa do? And uh, this is what he thought might happen. The song is called I'm Being I'm Getting Sued by Santa Claus. <laughs> Christmas Eve will not be very Christmas Day will not be very merry. Explaining to the children will be hard Well, it's Christmas Eve tonight And our beagle picked a fight With some reindeer that were grazing in our yard I let the dog outside to do his business I forgot to hook his leash up to the peg First he and Cupid came to blows Then he bit Rudolph on the nose And when I got there he was I in Prancer's Lay Now I'm getting sued by Santa Claus He's claiming mental anguish in his case Yeah, I'm getting sued by Santa Claus and my kids won't even look me in the face I tried to throw myself on Santa's mercy I begged her, begged him but I wasn't getting through I said it's all your fault you know he said now how can that be so I said, because we got the stupid dog from you. Now I'm getting sued by Santa Claus. He's claiming mental anguish in his case. Yeah, I'm getting sued by Santa Claus. And my kids won't even look me in the face. Oh, I'm getting sued by Santa Claus He's claiming mental anguish in his case Yeah, I'm getting sued by Santa Claus My kids won't even look me in the face Yeah, I'm getting sued by Santa Claus and I'm bunking with the beagle at his place. <laughs> Couldn't we just settle out of court? <laughs> oh dear. Hang on a minute, I gotta moving down just a bit. Um Brenda Hale. Hello, George. Hello, and Brenda. Lynn. We finally connected. Good to have you. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Happy Christmas. Christmas, actually, is what they yes. say over there. And Mike Mueller uh, is with us. Hello, Merry Mike. Merry Christmas, George and Wow, Ryan. thanks for coming by. And Daryl says, five degrees in Swickley, Pennsylvania. Wow. That's and, cold. Yeah, and Mary Williams. Mary's here. Hi, Mary. Merry George, Christmas. I love this song. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. That is a good one. We are uh, we're going to have a good time today. Um, this next song was written by Randy Brooks, and it was recorded by Elmo and Patsy in 1979, and became the most beat to death Christmas song in 1980. It's called <laughs> "Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer." Thank you. 
Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe She'd been drinking too much eggnog and we begged her not to go But she forgot her medication And she staggered out the door into the snow When we found her Christmas morning At the scene of the attack she had foot hoof prints on her forehead and incriminating claws marked on her back. Grandma got run over by a reindeer walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now we're all so proud of Grandpa He's been taking this so well See him in there watching football Drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mel it's not Christmas without Grandma All the family's dressed in black And we just can't help but wonder Should we open up her gifts or send them back? Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Now the goose is on the table And the pudding made of fig and the blue and silver candle That would just have matched the hair in Grandma's wig I've warned all my friends and neighbors Better watch out for yourselves They should never give a license To a man who drives a sleigh Plays with elves Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Ivan is with us or briefly. He said, hi, George and Lynn. We have to entertain our guests, so I'll have to catch this later. Bummer. Uh, so, no problem. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see you real soon, Ivan. Yeah. And, uh, and Merry Christmas to you and, and, and your family. And Mary said, Merry Christmas to you and Lynn. So Thank Merry you, Mary. Merry Christmas, Mary. And uh, Brenda Hale, I like my eggnog. The best medication. Cheers. <laughs> I, I say, yes. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> um, here is a song that I just recently heard about. Uh, in fact, it was uh, last Sunday at a um, song circle that I was in, the, the Boca Raton uh, Folk and Bluegrass Club. Uh, one of the ladies, there was a husband and wife duet there, and she mentioned the song, but he didn't want to play it. It was just a little bit too risque for him, I guess. Um, this was written by 
the king of Christmas parodies, Bob Rivers, and it's called The Restroom Door Said Gentleman. The restroom door said gentlemen, so I just walked inside. I took two steps and realized I'd been taken for a ride. I heard high voices turned and found the place was occupied by two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse. What could be worse than two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse? The restroom door said, gentlemen, it must have been a gag. As soon as I walked in there, I ran into some old hag. She sprayed me with a can of mace and smacked me with her bag. I could tell that this wouldn't be my day. What can I say? It just wasn't turning out to be my day. The restroom door said, gentlemen, and I would like to find the crummy little creep who had the nerve to switch the signs. Cause I got two black eyes and one high heel up my behind. Now I can't sit with comfort and joy, boy oh boy. Now I'll never sit with comfort and joy. <laughs> oh dear. It's hard not to laugh through that one all the way. <laughs> well, you know, like so. if the fit takes you. Uh, that's, uh, that's... Brenda said, so funny. The <laughs> Thank <restroom>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my. Uh, let me grab a little liquid refreshment here. Good old water. Water is good. I'm getting a little Dr. Pepper. Pep up a bit with Dr. Pepper. See, I could do a commercial, <clears throat> but I don't suppose they'd like that one. Well, you know, they're just they have no sense of humor then i hiccuped like i was also drinking some eggnog <laughs> <laughs> this song was written by elmo shropshire and rita abrams that's the elmo of elmo and patsy fame and was recorded under the name of dr elmo and it's called grandma's killer fruitcake you know fruitcake is an interesting <laughs> substance um, everybody gives them and no one wants to get them. <laughs> um, I happen to like fruitcake. I was going to say I'm one of the rare. I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, with the stuff. I don't give it to people because you, most people don't seem to like it, but, uh, I, I love it. I can't eat very much of it anymore because I have to watch my blood sugar. But, uh, anyway. Here's a song called Grandma's Killer Fruit Cake. The holidays were upon us and things were going fine. Till the day I heard the doorbell and a chill ran up my spine. I grabbed the wife and children as the postman wheeled it in. A yearly Christmas nightmare has just come back again. It was harder than the head of Uncle Bucky, heavy as a sermon of preacher Lucky. One's enough to give the whole state of Kentucky a great big belly ache. It was denser than a trove of barnyard turkeys, tougher than a truckload of all beef jerky, drier than a drought in Albuquerque. Grandma's killer fruit cake. Now I've had to swallow some marginal fare at our family feast. I even downed Aunt Dolly's possum pie just to keep the family peace. I winced at Wilma's gizzard moose but said it tasted fine. 
But that lethal weapon that Grandma bakes is where I draw the line. It was harder than the head of Uncle Bucky, heavy as a sermon of preacher Lucky. One's enough to give the whole state of Kentucky a great big belly ache. It was denser than a trove of barnyard turkeys, tougher than a truckload of all beef turkey, drier than a drought in Albuquerque, Grandma's killer fruit cake. Early Christmas morning, the phone rings us awake. It's Grandma Pa, she wants to know how we like the cake. Well, Grandma, I never, we couldn't. It was unbelievable, that's for sure. What's that you say? Oh no, Grandma, please don't send us more. It was harder than the head of Uncle Bucky. Heavy as a sermon of preacher Lucky. One's enough to give the whole state of Kentucky a great big belly ache. It was denser than a trove of barnyard turkeys. Tougher than a truckload of all beef turkey. Drier than a drought in Albuquerque. Grandma's killer fruit cake. Philip is here. He hey, Philippa! Uh, Facebook sucks! Three exclamation points. Been trying to join you since you started. Oh I'm dear. Sorry, that's. Uh, I'm really sorry to yeah. hear that. And. Uh, I, but we are glad you're here, and Merry Christmas. Indeed. Very glad you stuck hope with you're, us there. Hope glad, glad you were able to finally get through, and hope you're staying warm. Up there in uh, oh, near Rochester, New York. Worried a bit about you up there in that great white uh, north, you guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's cold. You know, we're letting the water run and all of that. So Brenda said, "Now going to eat a slice of my homemade fruit cake, moist and delicious." That <laughs> sounds <laughs> good. Homemade. Now that's a work. I wish I could that trans. I wish I could transport myself over oh, there. Oh, because we that'd, love it. That'd be nice. Flip said, "No, apparently I had the tech problems." Oh, well. Well. I'm glad you made it. Indeed. And the beginning will still be there, and you can go back and catch up later. That's right. Right. Here is a song. Uh, I don't know who wrote it. It could be uh, Buddy Kalb. He wrote a lot of Ray's stuff. Um, um, yeah? Ray's? Ray yeah, Stevens? Yeah, Ray Stevens. Okay, I was there waiting to hear you yeah. say Stevens. Yeah, Ray Stevens. <laughs> uh, this is called The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh-oh. T'was the night before Christmas, and I'd gone to bed late. Lord only knows how much pizza I ate. Christmas Eve, I dreamed that Santa was arrested. Yeah, they handcuffed him and they hauled him off to jail. Christmas Eve, I dreamed that Santa was arrested. For crimes so bad, they held him without bail. Cruelty to reindeer was the first charge that they read. We got there just in time, Your Honor. He had nine of them hitched to a heavy sled. And abuse is indicated, because one's nose is awfully red. And the prosecution had only just begun. OSHA closed his workshop down for safety violations. And there were product liability claims for every toy built since creation. We found out he only hires elves, and of course that's discrimination. He'll be put away for life before we're done. That sled is not airworthy. The FAA won't set us set the FAA won't certify. He's over 60 with corrected vision, therefore he should not fly. Why, this could be the trial of the century. There's over 10 billion instances of unlawful entry. Christmas Eve, I dreamed that Santa was arrested. And not only for the things they claimed he did. 
Christmas Eve I dreamed that Santa was arrested for being a poor role model for kids. Why, just look at him there, Your Honor. He doesn't shave or cut his hair, and he's grossly overweight, and he only works one day a year. Now we all know he smokes tobacco, and there's fur on that suit he wears. We must protect our kids from men like this. Order in the court, said the judge. I've heard enough about his crimes. And clearly, this is a man who's out of step with modern times. But one of those houses he so often entered unlawfully was mine. And therefore, all charges are dismissed. Whoa, woke up to the sound of ho 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 and reindeer hooves upon my roof and it was snowing and as I watched him fly away it was good knowing that some things that are politically incorrect can still be right. So Merry Christmas to all and to all a Merry Christmas Eve good night. Well, it I must like have it. been the pepperoni. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Brandy, uh, Brandy, sorry there, Brenda <laughs> said uh, maybe a brandy eggnog to wash it down, talking about her fruitcake. Yes, that Very sounds delightful. Wonderful. Indeed. And, uh, Philippa said, minus 16 here, Buffalo just down the road was slammed. Friend had 10 feet drifts blocking front and back doors, two feet by her side door. Oh, dear. That's kind of frightening. Well. Introduced to, the, what do they call those? Uh, the lake effect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo has huge amounts bomb of snow. cyclone or something like that. I was introduced to that's an uh, actual term. Uh -huh. to do with pressure dropping quickly and talk of flash freezing is not fun no so i hope you guys i hope your friend is okay yes indeed um yeah things are somebody's going to have to come along with a shovel uh, yeah or two maybe or two. maybe even two yes. yeah um here is a parody of jingle bells done by homer and jethro <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to freeze your feet off every day. Jingle bells, jingle bells, they have got to go. They're okay if you're a penguin or an Eskimo. Christmas time is here again, with it comes the snow. It's awful hard to start your car when it's 12 below. My antifreeze is failing me. The battery is dead. Then all at once that awful sound comes ringing in my head. Jingle bells, jingle bells, ringing in my head. If I had a lick of sense, I'd go right back to bed. Jingle bells, Jingle bells, listen to them chime. I wish that they'd have Christmas in the good old summertime. You shovel off the sidewalk, you shovel off your car, you don't care where you're going, just as long as it is far. You won't believe this ice and snow, you're ready for the drive, when the city snowflake comes along and buries you alive. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to freeze your feet off every day. Jingle bells, jingle bells, 
they have got to go. They're okay if you're a penguin or an Eskimo. <laughs> Flip said, uh, black rum eggnog here. There you go. And Kathy Byer, B-E-Y-E-R. Love having you serenade me in the kitchen while I make Christmas cookies and sing harmony off key. Well, Merry thank Christmas. you, Kathy. It's wonderful I, to see you. I sing harmony that way, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope your family enjoys your Christmas cookies. Oh, yes. Merry Christmas. Indeed. I hope you're staying warm and everything. Um, if there's anybody who hasn't already done so, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you'd leave us a comment. Tell us who you are and where you're from. Uh, we, we like to get to know the people who listen to us. This is kind of like a visit for us. Oh, yes. Uh, we see it more like, more like that than a, than an actual performance. Yes, We're all folks, just sitting and... around here in our uh, virtual living room with our virtual Christmas tree and, uh, celebrating christmas with all of you so if you would uh if you don't mind uh, leave a comment we'd appreciate it and also if you like this kind of stuff there's a lot more of it on this page uh there are 74 previous concerts that you can listen to until you're sick and tired of them or <laughs> uh, whatever um and uh, if you would like to be uh, kept informed of, uh, you know, the schedule and what's coming up next and all of that, um, like or follow the Auto Harp Down Home page and you will, uh, in your uh, news feed, will appear invitations to each of our shows. And that's about all that we send out. We don't, we don't uh, clutter your, um, you know, News feed with with garbage or anything not related to the show. So, right. if you ha if you'd like, uh, follow us on uh, Auto Harb Down Home. We'd appreciate it. And let's see. Well, we were talking about ten foot drifts and at the front and back doors Gosh, and yes. and all of that kind of thing. Here's a song that was written and recorded by a Canadian named Eileen McGann. It is a Paris parody of a sea shanty called Bound for South Australia, and it's called Snow Shanty. Woke up on a frozen morn, heave away, haul away, radio said there's been a storm, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away, you frozen thing, heave away, haul away, all the way you'll hear me sing, I'm bound for work this morning. Tried to open up the door, heave away, haul away, snow's piled up five feet or more, I'm down bound for work this morning. Got a shoveling job ahead, heave away, haul away, except the shovels in the shed, I'm bound for work this morning, heave away, the, you frozen thing, heave away, haul away, all the way you'll hear me sing, I'm bound f for work this morning, shove the door and make a gap, Heave away, haul away, one step out, I'm on my back, I'm bound for work this morning. It's down my collar, up my nose, heave away, haul away, down my boots, between my toes, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away, you frozen thing, heave away, haul away. All the way you'll hear me sing, I'm bound for work this morning. Struggle through the drifts and piles, heave away, haul away, the shed seems like it's twenty miles, I'm bound for work this morning. Reach the shed and realize, heave away, haul away, I've left the bloody keys inside, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away, you frozen thing, heave away, haul away, all the way you'll hear me sing, I'm bound for work this morning. 
It's to the house, back to the shed, heave away, haul away, I think this snow is made of lead, I'm bound for work this morning. It's time to shovel out the cars, heave away, haul away, if we can find out where they are, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away the ice and snow, heave away, haul away, curse and swear, and as you go, I'm bound for work this morning. The drive is done, the car is clear, heave away, haul away, what's that rumbling noise I hear, I'm bound for work this morning. I look up at the dreadful sound, heave away, haul away, the city plow is bearing down, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away the ice and snow, heave away, haul away, curse and swear, and as you go, I'm bound for work this morning. The city plow goes thundering by, Heave away, haul away, leaving snow banks ten feet high, I'm bound for work this morning. The car is buried, there's no way, heave away, haul away, I'll make it into work today, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away the ice and snow, heave away, haul away, Curse and swear, and as you go, I'm bound for work this morning. I'll hitch the dog up to the sled, heave away, haul away, it's time this dachshund earned his bread, I'm bound for work this morning. The car is lost, the dog has fled, heave away, haul away, it's time I headed back to bed. Heave away the ice and snow, <coughs> heave away, haul away, curse and swear, and as you go, I'm bound for work this morning. Heave away, you frozen thing, heave away, haul away, all the way you'll hear me sing, I'm bound for work this morning. <laughs> Hang on just a second. I have some. Um, I read that one by Kathy, that comment. Yep. And then Amber has joined us. Oh, oh hello, I love Amber. This one and Merry Christmas, guys. And Nancy Beatty, hi and Merry Christmas. So glad you guys are, are here with us. Merry Christmas. And uh, Brenda Hale, so enjoying your Christmas Eve show. We have today recorded. Bob's YouTube video, 12 Days of Christmas, this is my Rover Club song. Oh, that's hilarious. I listened to that just, just before we went on. Yeah, a nice going, Bob. That was, <clears throat> that was funny. Um, you know, even if you're not a restorer of old uh, Land Rovers. Yes. And Amber said, yes, back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Brenda said, did you say dachshund heave away? <laughs> we have a new 12-week-old doxy puppy. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I remember yes. you mentioning him. I can't remember his name. I, I think you told us his name. I can't remember it, but... And I think I've seen a picture of him on Facebook. Wow. Well, yeah, very I'm cute, sure. Very cute. Dachshunds are. They are. They can really run. They're great little dogs. I didn't dogs. think a dog shaped like that could run, but they run really fast, those little guys. Yep. They are uh, quite a bundle <laughs> of energy, for sure. <laughs> All right. Here's a parody of a funny Christmas song that was funny to begin with. It was originally recorded in 1954 by Spike Jones, who... Um, had a band that were very good musicians, <clears throat> but they deliberately played off key and used all kinds of offbeat instruments and, and things like that. Um, he called his songs decompositions as opposed to <laughs> compositions. Anyway, this is a parody uh, done of uh, I'm Getting Nothing for Christmas 
by Homer and Jethro, <coughs> Sid Tepper and Roy C. Bennett um, wrote, I don't know if they're the ones who originally wrote the song or if they're the ones who wrote the parody. Anyway, um, here is Nothing for Christmas by Homer and Jethro. Not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing this Christmas Eve. Johnny is a little brat, I'm gonna tan his hide. Well, he darn near ruined our pussy cat, I'm gonna tan his hide. Before the cat could shift her gears, Johnny grabbed the pink and shears, and he cut off her tail behind her ears. I'm gonna tan his hide. He's getting nothing for Christmas. He's getting nothing, you bet. Nothing's too good for a Johnny. And that's what he's gonna get. One night I took him out to dine. I'm gonna tan his hide. His table manners were a crime. I'm gonna tan his hide. Mashing taters with his toes, pouring gravy on my clothes, and mashing string beans up my nose. I'm gonna tan his hide. He's getting nothing for Christmas. He's getting nothing, you bet. Nothing's too good for a Johnny. That's what he's gonna get. Not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas, not getting a thing this Christmas Eve. I sat Johnny on my knees, I'm gonna tan his hide. I told him about the birds and bees, I'm a gonna tan his hide. That's one talk I ain't forgot, my face was red, my ears were hot. Boy, I sure did learn a lot, I'm a gonna tan his hide. He's getting nothing for Christmas, he's getting nothing, you bet. Nothing's too good for a Johnny That's what he's gonna get Not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas Not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas Not getting a thing, getting nothing for Christmas Not getting a thing this Christmas Eve <laughs> uh, Brenda said Reggie Reggie, that's right. And I, knew, I remembered that it started with an R, but I could not remember. And then Flip said, uh, Rumor has it that the original fruitcake was used as an anchor in the first voyage around the world. <laughs> <laughs> could be. <laughs> well, some, sometimes you don't know whether to believe these things. Could be. <laughs> I read somewhere that, that the fruitcake was the holiday version of iron rations that were carried by troops and and travelers and all and they were they were a fruitcake like material and what you did is put a slice of it in boiling water and it softened it and caused it to expand into a reasonably wow. edible meal wow. don't know if that's uh has any more credibility than the boat anchor theory but uh just Whoa. throw it out there in case you're Brenda's, Curious. Brenda added, our two dachshunds are getting far too many presents tomorrow. Oh, dear. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is a song written by Ken spoil. Carlisle and recorded by Ken, and it's called, I Saw Mama Kissing Santa Claus, and So Did Dad. <laughs> Oh, 
Let me tell you about the time Mama cooked her own Christmas goose. I guess the holiday spirits had made Mama just a little loose. That year the office party, Mama held it at our house. She said, go on up to bed, son, be quiet as a mouse. I peeked around the corner and I saw old Santa Claus. Well, I found out much later, oh, he was my mama's boss. Mama had hidden mistletoe in several secret spots, and I knew she never dreamed she might get caught. Well, the party rolled on, and Mama snuck into the laundry room, followed closely by Santa, later on by Daddy, too. I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus, and so did Dad. Daddy's nose closed red as Rudolph, so I knew that he was mad. It was the most exciting Christmas that our family ever had. When I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus, and so did Dad. Well, my daddy grabbed old Saint Nick, and he threw him on the ground. Electric lights commenced a sparking as the Christmas tree came crashing down. Them sparks, they set the couch on fire and set off the smoke alarm. Santa's screaming fire and Daddy's gnawing on his arm. Pretty soon the fire trucks came roaring down the street. Mama, she's plumb scared to death and hiding beneath the tree. Santa, he broke loose and headed f toward the fireplace. Daddy grabbed his shotgun, a crazed look upon his face. Santa started crawling up the chimney yelling, no, no, no. And I can't tell you where Daddy finally hung that mistletoe. Santa flew like a reindeer after the shotgun blast. And where it nicked St. Nick? Oh, you don't have to ask. Just like a bottle rocket, Santa blew out over the roof, slipping and a sliding in them big old Santa boots. That mistletoe went flying all around the neighborhood. And the last time I saw Santa, he was limping through the woods. They say every year at Christmas he comes down the chimney. Well, I may not have seen him coming, but I sure got to see him leave. It was the most exciting Christmas that our family ever had. When I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus and so did Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch that. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, you can't make this up. This, I, I firmly believe, is a true story. Uh, it was recorded by Lardo and Burley, the Moron Brothers. They are okay. a, a comedy <laughs> duet, bluegrass comedy duet. They were uh, Louisville, Kentucky firefighters. They retired from that and, uh, you know, became a, a comedy team. And this is called Best Christmas. <laughs> When Christmas time comes to the country, what a happy time of year. Mama baked a jam cake, cooked an old wild goose, there's hard candy everywhere. That little old sharecropper's shack, it beamed with happiness. There's one Christmas that we'll never forget, turned out to be the best. A few days before Christmas, Daddy'd hitch up a mule to an old mud sled that he made. He'd go down the holler, us kids was to follow, we'd be gone most half a day. We'd hunt till we found the biggest, fluffiest cedar tree by far. Take it home and trim it with popcorn, top it off with a tin foil star. I was the littlest one that year, daddy held me way up high. When I placed the star on top of the tree, something in it caught my eye. It was a big old gray paper ball, what it was I couldn't guess. 
but when things warmed up on Christmas Eve, it turned out to be a hornet's nest. Hornets was a buzz and mama was a fuss and one stung my cousin on his left ear. Running hard as we could go through the drifting snow, had to spend Christmas in the barn that year. When things cooled off, Daddy went back in and told us to stay where we was at. He grabbed coats and quilts and Mama's old Bible, how fighting hornets with his hat. That night we huddled together to keep each other warm. Mama read from the Bible about the first family that ever spent Christmas in the barn. Next morning we went back in and we thought all them hornets was froze. Mama started cooking up the Christmas dinner, and Daddy built a fire in the stove. Us kids all started playing. Once again, the house got hot. Daddy took a bite of goose, and he turned it loose, saying, Run for all you got! Hornets was a buzz, and Mama was a fuss, and one stung my cousin on his right ear. Running hard as we could go through the drifting snow. Had to spend Christmas in the barn that year. Well, we're all grown with kids of our own, and we still go to mom and dad's. And we love to tell the story about the best Christmas we ever had. That night, we huddled together to keep each other warm. Mama still reads the fam Bible about the first family that ever spent Christmas in the barn. Hornets was a buzz and mama was a fuss And one stung my cousin through his underwear Running hard as we could go through the drifting snow Had to spend Christmas in the barn that year Oh dear. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, you know, you can't make that up. No. <laughs> All right. There was a show on one of the cable channels. I can't. I I can't remember which one. Um, called Dirty Jobs. Mike Rowe. Yes, Mike Rowe. Uh, I remember. Did that. all these dirty jobs, like cleaning porta potties and all kind of stuff. Uh, he also narrated uh, Deadliest Catch. Was that the History Channel? I don't think it was it. It was not. It might have been Nat Geo. Anyway, can't remember. Um, uh, somebody wrote a song which was the um, most popular new Christmas song of of 2021, and it's called "Santa's Got a Dirty Job." <laughs> Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job, and he does it all night long. Well, every year old Santa Claus loads up in his sleigh, and them reindeer running in front of him kick mud up in his face. And those chimneys he goes climbing down ain't exactly all that fun. But if he don't do it, nobody will. So Santa's gonna get the job done. Don't you know that Santa Claus got a dirty job? Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. And he does it all night long. Through wind and rain and blinding snow, Santa Claus never slows down. He's gotta keep on pushing those reindeer hard if he's gonna hit every town. Sneaking in. Sneaking out for 24 hours straight. Got to outrun them big yard dogs. Got to do whatever it takes. Don't you know that Santa Claus got a dirty job? Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. And he does it all night long. You know, folks, I was just thinking... Old Santa Claus, he's a big man. He visits over 300 million folks every year. Woo! And every year he goes, you know what he finds? Cookies. And he eats them. He's gotta. He's Santa Claus. It'd be rude not to. I'm just saying. 
you wake up in the middle of the night and see that big m man in your house making a beeline for the bathroom, you best get out of his way. Oh, you know that Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job, and he does it all night long. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job. Santa Claus got a dirty job, and he does it all night long. Yes, he does it all night long. He does it all night long. Woo! Yeah. Uh, Brenda said, uh, such a funny song, Best Christmas. <laughs> we know about hornets. Sounds like there's a story there. Yes, indeed. And uh, Flip said, like the acapella. And then also, by the way, Ginny is listening with me. Smiling. Oh, hello, Ginny. Hello, Ginny, and, and Merry Christmas. Indeed. Uh, it's nice talking with you on the phone yes. a few days ago. Um, where are we here? Uh, okay. Uh, what time is it? One fifty-four. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna come out just so about out what just I about what right. I wanted. Okay. Um, twelve days of Christmas, twelve songs of Christmas. This is this this is the last one. Uh, we don't want to take up too much of your Christmas Eve. We really appreciate everybody um, who was uh, you know willing to take a little piece of their Christmas Eve and spend it with us. We appreciate that very much. Very much. This song was recorded by a guy named Michael James, and it's called Bradley the Brown-Nosed Reindeer. A tryout call was given, 100 reindeer came. We know only nine of them would then ride on to fame. Bradley's hopes were high, he knew he was the best. He ran like the wind, but his brakes failed to test. What do we tell his mama, what do we tell his pop? Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. When they hitched him to the harness, he assumed the sprinter's stance. He knew this one trial run would be his only chance. He tore across tall treetops with Donner by his side. When it all came crashing down, he had nowhere to hide. Cause he rear-ended Prancer and Dancer got it too. When they pulled Santa from the pile, he was black and blue. Mrs. Claus said because of Brad they lost a sleigh, and now he's where the has-beens and never was a stay. What do we tell his mama? What do we tell his pop? Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. While he was out to pasture, his friend Comet came to call. He said, be glad, my good friend Brad, you've missed nothing at all. I thought I'd see the forests and the mountain ranges. But unless your name is Rudolph, the scenery never changes. What do we tell his mama? What do we tell his pop? Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. Oh, Bradley. Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. Oh, Bradley. Bradley the brown-nosed reindeer couldn't stop. <laughs> Didn't Brenda, think about that. <clears throat> Brenda said, I agree, like the acapella. So well, thank was, you. Was... We'll try to do more of that. Yes. Um, it's a lot easier to learn a song when you don't have to learn how to play it, too. <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, we do want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you for, um, again, for uh, spending a little bit of time, yes, uh, a little bit of it with us. We've had a great time. Um, if you want to uh, give us a Christmas present, you know, you could always dump a, <laughs> a buck or two in our virtual tip jar. Uh, we have a PayPal account at autoharp.down.home at gmail.com. Or you can go to the website where we sell our CD, autoharpdownhome.com, and there's a donation link there which will take you to that um, page. Um, I'm saving up money to uh, get airfare to go back to MLAG, part of the yes. prize I won for winning the championship last year is all I get my room and uh food room and board and and all that free um and um uh but i have to still have to get myself there and back so if you could help us out with that we'd appreciate it and if you can't that's all that's uh that's fine too we understand completely but uh again a very merry christmas and a happy new year to you all yes. um goodbye good luck and may the good lord take a liking to you well now it's time to say goodbye to George and all his kin we'd sure like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in you're all invited back real soon to this locality To have a heap and helping of our hospitality Down home style that is Set a spell, take your shoes off Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? Brenda says, thank you so much. We really enjoy your show. Merry Christmas. And Amber said, Merry Christmas. And we want to wish you guys... The merriest Christmas. Indeed. And thanks, thanks again. We had a good time this afternoon.